Good morning, February 10th. Happy birthday to my brother Dorian. Mayonnaise on the road. You enlarged my path under me, so my feet did not slip. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 37. You may not consider mayonnaise to be a travel hazard, but when a load of mayo fell off a truck in the Hyogo Prefecture of Japan, the spill caused an eight-car pileup, resulting in three injuries and a five-hour road closure. Because mayo contains eggs, vinegar, and oil, the shattered bottles created a slippery stretch of highway that police said was slicker than snow. The highway of life can get slippery too. Sometimes we have to navigate tricky stretches, such as choosing to do what's right when those around us disagree. Other times we encounter bends in the road with unexpected changes, but finding the right pathway is vital, and Jesus is the only way. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6 says that God will lead us and make our ways straight. We can trust that God will direct our paths and help us get through the slick patches. The most important thing about life's journey is being on the right road so our feet don't slide and our footsteps are secure. Revival is just you and I walking along the highway in complete oneness with the Lord Jesus and with one another, with cups continually cleansed and overflowing. Roy Hessian Good evening. I know for certain. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. Psalm 23, verse 1. Those of us who belong to the Lord know we are safe and secure. We know for certain that the Lord is our shepherd and therefore we do not fear the future. Our shepherd is there already and he will walk before us every day, leading us to our eternal destination. Do you feel unsure about the path you have to take? Remember, he is the good shepherd. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Do you need spiritual food and strength? The Lord will provide an abundant feast of good things. He is our heavenly manna the bread and water of life. Sometimes we have doubts about the future. We wonder whether we will have enough to provide for our essential needs. With childlike certainty, the psalmist then tells us, I shall not be in want. I shall not be in want of anything that I truly need and that is good for me. The Lord will hear when you call because his love never changes.